So this is an example of using inverse kinematics and bones in Godot for very quickly animating a character model. Here we have a secretary bird I made quite quickly, and we have created some bones within the editor to easily animate the positions. As you can see I was moving the feet around and the legs were moving to point at the same location. So what we need to do is we need to select the items we want to make bones from, set them at both at the same time, click the bone up top, and click make custom bones. Once we have the bones that you can see on the actual neck there, we can then create an IK chain. An IK chain is an inverse kinematic. What it does is it uses trigonometry to point uh, one object at another based on where their offset is. So you can see here, as we move the head, the neck will rotate to point at where the head is. That's quite helpful. And interestingly, um, the objects don't actually have their position change. They just have the rotation of the parent pointed it. So now we can create an animation, I'll call it lean, and we can easily insert keyframes in because it will position everything for us. So we can click insert key up top and we'll have our starting position for our lean. And then we can just move the head and we can select both the neck and the head and insert the key again and we will get the whole keyframe put into the animation player. This can be expanded out greatly if you have bones connecting entire bodies together and it lets you make uh, animations as probably, it's probably the quickest and easiest way to make animations in Godot. So then to make this work when we actually get into the game, I go ahead and uh, I simply check if we're moving and if we do, we lean forwards. And then if we were lent forwards and we've stopped moving, I play the animation backwards, but quicker. And here's the final effect. Following that, I'm going to show us another scene with some more limbs I threw in where things get a little bit weird. So as you can see, I made a tentacle using exactly the same process of creating bones and setting up an animation player to interpolate from those positions. In uh, my other game I'm working on, you can see we've got much more complicated bone structures here where we have a variety of interesting animations. Additionally, you can animate pretty much anything using cutouts. So this secretary bird that was the uh, main character of our um, the demo I made earlier, is literally a tracing over an actual picture of a bird. And you can probably trace over pretty much anything you want to animate them. Thank you for watching.